Welcome to our tutorial about working with equations in SOLIDWORKS 2012. In this version of SOLIDWORKS, working with equations is significantly improved. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create variables as well as equations from the Modify Dimension dialog window. Let's begin by inserting a sketch. And activate the Rectangle tool. I'll drop a rectangle about here. Let's smart dimension it now. 50 millimeters here. Now let's create a global variable right here. The first bit of syntax we have to enter is equals, equal sign. A drop down menu appears where we can insert functions or file properties. In my case, I'll be creating a variable. I'll just type in the name. I'll call it variable one, VAR01. If you're familiar with coding, you'll notice that I wrote the variable without quotation marks, the double quotation marks, and that's acceptable in SOLIDWORKS. The true actual syntax does require the quotation marks. Let's accept this variable. We click on this button here to toggle between the global variable and the value displayed, 50. Let's accept. To edit the dimension, either the variable or the value, we just double click. Let's make it 60 millimeters. Here I can edit the variable name if I need to, and let's accept. Let's insert another dimension here. Instead of setting up a dimension value, I'm going to insert the equal sign. We've got a third option down below. You see global variables. That's because I defined one just a moment ago. I'll select my variable, var01. Now I'll divide it by two forward slash 2. Click Accept. Now in our sketch, we've got at play a global variable and an equation. We click here to toggle between the equation and the display value. Since the value is driven by the equation, I'm not able to change it. Let's accept and exit our sketch. Activate the extruded boss command. Let's accept the default values. Now let's right click on the annotations folder, show feature annotations, double click on our dimension. Let's insert another equation here. Type the equal symbol. Once again, we'll select global variables. We'll divide it by four, forward slash four, and accept. Now we've got an extruded boss where all three dimensions are driven by variables and equations. Let's double click on this dimension to modify it. We'll decrease it to 50, click accept. And let's update our model. In the design tree, we now have an equations folder. Here's our global variable. Let's right click on the equations folder and select manage equations. The Equations, Global Variables, and Dimensions dialog window opens. Up top here, I see the global variable I just defined, and down below are the equations that I just set up. This concludes our first tutorial about working with equations. In my next tutorial, I'm going to get into a little more detail about how to modify your variables and equations right from this dialog window.